Imagine setting out on a cosmic journey fueled by wonder, curiosity, and just a hint of madness. The universe is vast and beautiful, but it's also a place of unimaginable dangers. If you think a shark-filled ocean is terrifying, just wait until you see what the cosmos has cooked up. So buckle up, traveler. Today, we venture into the top five most dangerous places in the universe to visit. First stop, the surface of a neutron star. Picture this, a city-sized sphere packing more mass than our entire sun, crushing atoms until they become an ocean of neutrons. Step foot here, if that were even possible, and you'd be flattened instantly by gravity two billion times stronger than Earth's. Forget hiking boots, you'd need quantum armor just to survive the first nanosecond. Time, space, and even the definition of matter itself twists under such pressure. Here, reality bends and the line between science and science fiction blurs. Next, we drift toward the center of a supermassive black hole. It sounds poetic, spiraling into a cosmic ballet of darkness, but in truth, it's pure annihilation. As you approach, tidal forces stretch you thinner and thinner until you become a single strand of atoms, a phenomenon chillingly named spaghettification. No spaceship, no shield, no desperate scream can save you. You wouldn't even see it coming. The very light carrying the warning signs is swallowed whole, lost to eternity. Crossing the event horizon is a one-way ticket and no postcards from the other side. Now, let's get adventurous. How about visiting the Booters Void? Sounds harmless, right? Wrong. Imagine a region of space so empty, so utterly devoid of stars, galaxies, and light, that it stretches nearly 330 million light years across, like a cosmic ghost town. Travel here, and you'd find yourself in a cosmic silence so deep your mind might fracture under the sheer psychological weight. No light, no stars, no beacons to guide you home. Just endless, suffocating darkness, whispering into the folds of your sanity. Feeling brave? Good, because now we're heading to the gamma ray burst zone. Somewhere out there, massive stars are dying in violent explosions, releasing more energy in a few seconds than our sun will produce over its entire 10 billion year lifetime. If you happen to be anywhere nearby, and by nearby, I mean hundreds of light years away, the radiation would incinerate your spacecraft, strip away your atmosphere, and cook your DNA like overdone bacon. You wouldn't even have time to register the flash. You'd simply cease to exist, erased by a silent cosmic bullet traveling at the speed of light. And finally, the crown jewel of cosmic nightmares, the quasar's heart. Imagine a black hole so ravenous that, as it devours entire stars, it spews jets of radiation millions of light years into space. A quasar's core shines brighter than entire galaxies combined, but approach too close and you're caught in a maelstrom of lethal particles and magnetic storms. Here, physics goes feral. Gravity becomes a tyrant. Light itself struggles to escape the chaos. Visiting a quasar's core would be like flying into the mouth of an angry god, a blinding fury of energy, soundless but merciless. The universe is breathtaking, yes, but it is also merciless in its indifference, beauty and terror intertwined like twin strands of DNA, stitched into the very fabric of existence. And while we gaze up in awe, safely tucked away on our pale blue dot, these cosmic monsters lie in wait, silent, patient, eternal. But danger in the universe isn't always about brute force or cosmic violence. Sometimes it's about environments so alien, so extreme, that they defy the very rules life depends on. Take the atmosphere of a hot Jupiter, 
giant exoplanets that orbit scorchingly close to their stars. Here, temperatures soar to thousands of degrees, and winds scream at speeds of over 5,000 miles per hour. Iron doesn't just melt, it vaporizes, forming metallic clouds that rain molten droplets from the skies. Imagine standing on a world where the storm clouds aren't water, they're boiling metals, and every breath would ignite your lungs. Even machines wouldn't survive more than a few seconds in that hellish cauldron. Or consider the core of a white dwarf, the smoldering skeleton of a dead star. If you could somehow dig down into this cosmic ember, you'd find something truly bizarre, a mass of crystallized carbon and oxygen, essentially a gigantic diamond floating in space. But don't let its sparkle fool you. The gravitational forces here are so intense that a teaspoon of white dwarf material would weigh as much as a skyscraper. Its beauty forged under unimaginable pressure, a jewel crafted by death itself. Now, imagine venturing into the magnetosphere of a magnetar, the magnetic monster cousins of neutron stars. A magnetar's magnetic field is a trillion times stronger than Earth's. Get too close, and it could tear apart the very atoms that make up your body, not your ship, not your suit, your atoms. It's like nature reached deep into its bag of tricks and pulled out a force so powerful it breaks the rules of matter itself. Just being nearby would scramble your brain's electrical signals before you even knew you were in trouble. And then there's the accretion disk of a black hole the swirling halo of gas and dust spiraling into oblivion. Temperatures here can rival the cores of stars. The friction alone produces radiation so intense it could sterilize entire regions of space. You wouldn't even need to fall into the black hole to be doomed. Just brushing the edge of its hungry whirlpool would be enough to reduce a spacecraft to its component atoms scattering them across the event horizon like cosmic confetti. Finally, we can't forget the raw chaos of star-forming nebulae. From a distance, they look majestic, colorful clouds of dust and gas where new stars are born. But inside, it's a battlefield of radiation, shock waves, and gravity so turbulent that entire planetary systems can be shredded before they even form. Here, destruction and creation dance hand in hand. Step into this cosmic nursery without proper shielding, and the high-energy particles would slice through you like a thousand invisible knives. It's beauty in its most violent infancy. The universe doesn't hide its dangers behind locked doors. It puts them on full display, dressed in dazzling lights and spectacular phenomena daring the bold and the curious to come closer. It's a place where survival isn't guaranteed, where the rules you trust to keep you safe are bent, broken, and sometimes erased entirely. Yet despite all of this, despite the peril, the chaos, the unimaginable extremes, we can't look away. Because in every fiery death, every crushing force, every storm of annihilation, the universe reminds us of something profound, that existence itself is a miracle carved from the very heart of chaos. And what about the places where even time itself seems to lose meaning? Imagine wandering too close to the edge of a cosmic string, hypothetical one-dimensional defects in space-time, thinner than an atom, but heavier than a mountain range. Their gravitational pull would be so intense that they could warp space around them like a tornado twisting the sky. One accidental crossing, and you might be hurled across the galaxy, or torn out of existence before you even realized it. Then there's the chaotic realm of colliding galaxies. Two titanic cities of stars, each containing hundreds of billions of suns smashing together over hundreds of millions of years. 
it's not just a fireworks show. Gravitational forces rip apart solar systems, black holes spiral toward inevitable confrontation, and radiation storms sweep through the interstellar medium. If you were unlucky enough to be caught in the chaos, no amount of shielding or evasive maneuvering would save you. It would be like trying to survive a demolition derby where every car weighs a trillion tons, or dive into the deadly drama of a Type E a supernova, the ultimate cosmic bomb. When a white dwarf siphons off just enough material from a companion star, it crosses a critical mass limit and detonates in a thermonuclear explosion that can outshine entire galaxies. If your spacecraft were parked nearby, the flood of gamma rays would strip away your protective layers, cook you alive in milliseconds, and erase all traces of your visit. Not even light can outrun the sheer devastation. And lurking in the dark, hidden by shadows, are rogue planets, giant orphan worlds ejected from their parent stars, drifting alone through the void. Their surfaces are frozen, their skies eternally black. No sun, no warmth, no life, just endless night and lethal cold that would sap every last jewel of heat from your body until you became a frozen relic, preserved for eternity in a universe that wouldn't even notice you were gone. But perhaps the most chilling threat is something subtler. Vacuum decay, a nightmare straight from quantum physics. If our universe exists in a false vacuum, a precarious, unstable state, then somewhere, at any moment, a tiny bubble of true vacuum could spontaneously form and expand at the speed of light. Anything it touches would be wiped clean. Atoms, stars, galaxies, the very laws of physics rewritten. There would be no warning, no escape, no trace. Reality itself would be reprogrammed. The universe is not just a place of wonders. It's a crucible of extremes, where survival is the exception, not the rule. Every sparkling nebula, every swirling black hole, every lonely rogue planet is a chapter in a cosmic story written in the language of creation and destruction. And somehow, against all odds, on one tiny rock orbiting a modest star, life found a foothold and dared to look up. Here at Whispers of the Cosmos, we don't just stare into the night sky. We listen. We listen to the silent roars of black holes, to the echoes of ancient stars, to the deep resonant hum of a universe both terrifying and breathtaking. Every whisper from the cosmos tells a story of danger, of beauty, of endless possibility. And as long as there are mysteries in the sky, we'll be here, listening, wondering, and reaching ever further into the infinite.